I to Modern Drummer. I'm starting my sort of part of my anniversary tour. I'm using footage of Greg and Keith from the Royal Albert Hall in London. And we've managed to put a lot of editing, put it together in such a way where we can actually play along with them. They'll be on the side screens, a 12 foot by nine. Each side, there's a 16 foot by nine downstage. So we, we should have quite an interesting evening. Got Paul and Simon with me, have been in my band for a long time. And we'll be playing the old favorites like Hoedown, Carmina Barana, Tarkas, you name it. So it should be very cool. So um, anyway, come along and check it out. Today, what we've got here is um, the 100th anniversary Ludwig drum set. So that was 2009. Uh, they brought out a stainless steel set. Uh, I've been you know, looking for one for years. Um, I actually left Ludwig because they, they wouldn't make me one back in the 70s. I think they made John Bonham one and I went off and I made my own stainless steel drums. Anyway, they've been making drums for a long time now, stainless steel drums. Uh, but these were the anniversary edition. And what's, what's interesting about these, the badge is slightly different. You've got the original like Ludwig badge here, but the whole thing is a bit more elaborate. So these are the 100th anniversary uh, drums, which were issued 2009. And this was the only uh, double bass drum set which they made. Well, in actual fact, they made two. This one and another one I've got in Europe. Um, this one happens to be uh, 24 by 16, uh, 9 by 13, 10 by 14, uh, 16 by 16, 18 by 18, box sizes. And I'm using the Ludwig, but it's my snare drum, my model, signature model, uh, Venus snare drum. So these are quite unusual, you know, because they've only ever sold single kits, uh, Ludwig, in stainless steel. It's not to say somebody hasn't put a double set together, but this was actually made as a, a double set, um, you know, two bass drum set. Originally, when I got this set, it didn't have the brass hoops, and they later started putting brass hoops on all of the uh, stainless steel drums. I changed these over, you know, because I've sort of tried to sort of recondition it as time has gone by because I, I won't get rid of this one I'll have this one until the last day as they say so that's what the drums are they're ambassador x on the top which is a three ply mylar drum head on the snare drum because my snare drum is so shallow it's like a three and a I think it's three and three sevenths or something I can't remember exactly but it, it, it's it's very shallow I use die cast hoops and an emperor emperor being the thickest gauge that Remo ever made so that's the snare drum and the heads, all heads all round. On the back of the bass drums, there's, um, I think, the CS Black Dot with the Flam Slam. Uh, I've been with Remo since 1971, you know, so a long time. So the symbols here we're looking at, we're looking at the, uh, we're looking at the Carl Palmer Signature Ride, uh, which is what we call a duo ride. It's 20 inch and it's a very heavy symbol. And it gives you two playing surfaces here which is very loud and ringing, and here, which is very sort of jazz and pingy. So there's two areas to play on. So it really is two cymbals in one, so quite a feat that, and Peisty did a great job. Been with Peisty since about 71 again, you know. That's 21 years old, I think. The Crashes, uh, I think it's one they've stopped doing now. It's the actual signature series. This is at a 22, and over there is an 18. They're both Peisty signature. This one is a Rude. It's a 20 China type. Um, my hi-hats are 13 inch, uh, 13 inch hi-hats. Um, quite a heavy gauge symbol on the bottom. On the top hi-hat, there's a little symbol which is mounted, which is, a, I don't know what they call it. It comes from, uh, comes from one of those symbol trees that they make. And I took one off one day and put it on the top of my hi-hat. With hi-hats, you can never play the bell of the top symbol on the hi-hat. Here, at least you've got another sound. Uh, and up here, I'm not too sure exactly what they call this, but this is, this is another bell-like sort of uh, six-inch symbol and might even be close to seven, actually. And then over there, there's some trashy symbols from a very small company who I can't even remember the name. Um, all the hardware is from, uh, it's from Ludwig. There's a bit of DW here at the front with the Tom Tom stand. And at the back, uh, there's two, uh, the two bass drum pedals were made especially for me by DW and they've got a special toe stop and you're welcome to go around and shoot some footage of that from behind. Uh, and they're, they're really remarkable pedals. I'm using a chain drive and not a direct drive. Um, I'm not too sure which is best to be honest, uh, but I, that one really suits me. And they've been absolutely fantastic, uh, DW. And Ludwig, who I've been with since, um, well, I started with Ludwig, my first endorsers, 
uh, my first indoor series. Um, and I went back in 2005. I think I was with them from, uh, oh, to probably 76. And then I left and I went back in 2005 and I've been with them ever since. So the, the gongs are made by Peisty again. They're, they're the chrome version. Normally gongs are, are kind of a brown sort of uh, feature, as you know, very sort of archaic looking. But these are, are, are being chromed. They're a bit messed up, as you can see, because I've used them for a long time now. But they're, they're, they're really very cool gongs. I think they're 33, 32 centimeters or something like that. One slightly heavier than the other, the one with the logo in the middle. And this is slightly lighter. Uh, at the back there, we've got um, the actual gong stands were made up for me by Gibraltar, uh, which enabled me to have the overheads off here, uh, which is, is a great thing to have. All the mics are just clipped to the drums, as you can see. There is at the back here, um, a 13 inch by seven and a half uh, Ludwig snare drum, maple shell, which I use for odd bits and pieces, which Ludwig made up for me. That, that is absolutely excellent. Uh, what else do we have? Ludwig stool. Um, I think that's pretty much it. There's a, a, an LP cowbell here and we've got a wave drum. Yeah, the old fashioned wave drum, which I still love. It's got some great sounds in it. But they're the great company, Ludwig, and uh, the stainless steel drums. I was going to have them uh, buffed up, you know, and cleaned and stuff. But um, I mean, they look pretty good like this. But when you get up close, there's a few marks, obviously, because they've been out since 2009. But to clean the shells, you've got to take this 100th anniversary badge off. And if you take it off, you're going to mark the inside. And I didn't want to take it off because I wanted the people to know that this was an absolute original set. You know, so It's not looking too bad. We refurbish it every now and again. We put some brass uh, T-screws here uh, for tension rods. We change the hoops. Um, got a few new stands. And that's what I do every year. I just get them to uh, send me some new hardware along, whatever I need. But the one in England is exactly the same as this, but it has 22 inch bass drums by 18 inches deep, that's the only difference. But Ludwig only wanted to make stainless steel drums with 24 inch bass drums. So that's why this set exists. And if you were to order a stainless steel set, you'd probably find a couple of 24. I use the 22 in England, but slightly deeper. Um, I like both sets, you know, the both bass drum sizes work really good for me. So uh, anyway, uh, that's where we are. What we've got here is a, is a, is a pair of uh, stainless steel again. Um, which would be the, the older shell. Uh, these, these are made by Ron Dunnett in Canada. They've got a very, very sharp edge. That's why the sound, the sound so good. Um, these here, I've got a similar edge, but everything is sort of turned on them. Um, they slightly turned in. Uh, and these, are, these possibly were um, what we would call concert tom-toms, a six and an eight. Anyway, I sort of wanted to get stainless steel bongos, which probably didn't ever exist. Anyway, these have been put together. Um, Remo made the deeper head, so we've got the deeper heads on here to give me the, the chance to be able to play uh, the, the drums well. And uh, we've got um, sort of in the middle here, we've got probably what was uh, a, a fitting um, from a set of, of bongo drums. Um, so when these were, oops, if I can take this off, I'll do it for you. When, when these were concert tom toms. I think they, they might have had a bracket on the side. There's no holes, so they might not have been. They might be a very rare pair of stainless steel bongos, for all I know. This is a fitting that was used for the bongo stands. This is the fitting they used in the middle. It's all original. It's still got the badge at the front, actually. Um, so you don't know if it, they were converted or they were as you see them. Um, but yeah, that's it. And uh, I think they're from the 70s. They're from the 70s and as rare as hen's teeth so uh, if you ever want a pair of stainless steel bongos i know a man in austin texas who could sell them to you the stand is by a symbol company and i can't recall their name actually uh, but not many people make a bongo stand you know years ago people used to hold their bongos in there in there between their knees i mean that just kills you you know because you can't hit them hard enough anyway um somebody was making this stand anyway i picked one up and, and that's it the stool as you can see is a uh, is a Ludwig school. I moved uh, last year over to a company uh, called Veta, Veta Drumsticks, and uh, I started. I decided to update my model. I'd had some drumsticks for about oh since I was 19, made by Premier, 
I was with Promark for many years and uh, I just wanted to up, you know, catch up on my game. I enjoyed what Vata were doing, so I went along, spoke to them, and they kindly, uh, Alan Vata said, yes, I can make you a stick. And so we modified it. The shaft and everything is the same as the old one. I just reduced the size of the bead at the end, just so I could get more symbol ping, more definition. Um, so yeah, they're, they're Vata. And they've got the 50th anniversary logo on it, as you can see, and they've got my name. Vader. Alan Vader did a great job and he turns out really good sticks. One thing with, with them, uh, with Vader is in a, their sticks are incredibly consistent as far as being, you know, if you say you want 53 grams or whatever, it will be, the weights will be weighted up properly and the sticks will be straight. So rock on Vader. And thank you, Modern Rock. Speak to you soon.